quickly it ricochets off his foot and went onto his hand. Now the Australians have to control themselves, but I'm quite certain it was not deliberate. Wally Chavo giving the referee a piece of his mind. He's already got a yellow card. He ought to be quite careful. There is the incident again. Of course, it is in slow motion. And, well, difficult to tell from that replay. But certainly, in at real speed, and at the time that it happened, I was quite certain that it was accidental. The referee has to make his mind up in a split second. And now he's ushering the Australians away. So, the moment of the game so far. Ohana will be taking the penalty. And Jeff Olver is under enormous pressure here. Eli Ohana. And it's put it away. Israel lead 1-0. With 21 minutes gone in the second half. There are the fans celebrating. 21 minutes gone in the second half. A couple of fans have run onto the pitch. Trying to congratulate Eli Ohana. And... Is this the turning point of the game? Eli Ohana sending Jeff over the wrong way. Over made a valiant attempt to turn back and carry it, but it was too late. So for the moment, perhaps not in the way that he expected, Eli Ohana is the hero. Dri driving the ball as hard as Charlie Yankos does might not necessarily score you a goal but the ricochet from it might help you out Oshikrino wants the wall back Charlie Ank is, gonna, is going to attempt it here's Yankos curling it outside netting oh, it's gone in it's gone in it's a goal Charlie Yankos has put it in an unbelievable free kick which has left this gallery absolutely stunned with silence. It sailed around the wall in such a death way that one thought it hit the outside netting. But in fact, it's a goal for Australia. This is a better angle at it. Hitting it hard, driving it into that corner on the far right of the goal. And Bodie Ginsburg was nowhere. 